Morning, y'all. It's Thursday morning. If y'all don't know, I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Long days. And it's Thursday morning and I want to, I feel like I'm in the mood to go work out. So we have a, a pretty decent gym down in our basement. So I'm headed down there to do that first thing in the morning. I've got my to-do list of things that I want to do and I've already crossed a couple off of it. And I'm going to try to get all of those done today. I think I can, I'm pretty sure. So first things first, work out, that's on my list. I like to write everything that I wanna do because then I can cross things off and then it looks like I've been doing something. After that, I need to vacuum the house. Dishes are cleaned and put away. I gotta go fill up the chickens feeders. And then let me show you what I'm most excited to do today. I'll show you. Last one. This is my pile of traded seeds as well as some of the orders of tomato seeds and different things. So what my plan for today is I need to go through these and separate out all of the tomatoes from the other stuff because I need to pick out what I'm winter sowing and get it ready. That's going to be a video, I believe, all the things I'm going to winter sow. I've got a ton of jugs already pre-prepared in the greenhouse, which thankfully weren't destroyed. None of them were even touched by the greenhouse being collapsed. But in that video, I'm gonna show you how I prepare the jugs, what jugs I use, and then all the things that I'm actually going to winter sow and how different ones need to be sown differently. So I'm pretty excited about that video. I actually started my YouTube channel last year right after I started my winter sewing, which I was just like, I, even sitting there doing it, I was thinking to myself, you've always wanted to start a YouTube channel. This would be a great video to start with. And I didn't do it. This year I'm doing it. So, you know, better late than never. But winter sewing is so fun. If you haven't done it, you should try it. It's, it's the magic of Letting things naturally sprout is just that. It's magical. Stay tuned for that one. Oh, my hair is like, what's happening? Another thing that I'm doing today is I'm going to sit down. I need to finish writing out the rules and what do you call them? Like regulations for, I'm doing my first big seed swap. I'm hosting on Tomato Obsession. So the, the, the post for that is going up this Saturday. So I have got to get it all prepared because it's given me a little anxiety not to have it completely finished. I posted um, a few days ago asking people, you know, can you give me some feedback on this or that? And I got some really good comments. So I think I'm ready. I think I'm prepared. I'm keeping it small this time. Um, I think I'm only allowing 50 entries. I might change that. I might up it to 75 trying to, I don't want to exclude people, but at the same time, I don't want to th this to be an epic failure. So I'm thinking if I just start small and see, you know, dip my toes in and see how it goes, then I can like, you know, double it and then just open it up to everybody in Tomato Obsession. We'll see how it goes. So I actually have a book where I have all of my trades written down with what each person has given me with their name so that I don't forget. So my notebook reminds me who gave me what and exactly what all I have because I do have lots of tomato seeds. I think I counted, I think I have over 700 different varieties now. This pile here is all the pepper seeds. I've separated those out. This is all new stuff. So I do have older stuff in my seed collection that I have to go through as well. But this is the new pepper seeds. Then I separated out squash, cucumber, things that I know won't be started with my winter sowing. These are maybes. This is lettuce and carrot, cauliflower and carrots. I might winter sow a couple cauliflower. Probably not the lettuce, but I, I wanted to put this separate because I will be starting some of that soon. And then this is all the rest of the stuff that is possibilities for the winter sowing in the jugs. And I'll have to go through this as well as what I already have in my seed containers of what I want to winter sow. Because I only have so many jugs. I mean, I do have a lot, 
but this is also a lot of seeds. So I'll have to kind of narrow it down, but I'll do that in the video of my actual, like when I winter. So I'll show which ones I'm gonna actually start. So I can check this off my list. I've got it organized. So I'm gonna put all the tomatoes in this big Baker Creek bag. So when it's time to go through those, which is all of this pile right here. They'll just all be in one place. I need to separate out, which is another task I'm gonna do, is separate out all the micro dwarfs and have them separate because those don't count. Those are not gonna count in the 200 varieties that I get to pick this year to start. And I can say with a lot of happiness that I am done with the wording to my, it's called the Shamrock Seed Swap. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> I think that is the cutest name. That's a load off because I was really stressed out about it. So I've got all the wording. It's ready to go. Going to be posted on Saturday. I'm super excited about it. I hope it's successful. I hope a lot of people want to participate, but we'll see. So it's the next day. I just got done recording a tomato seed haul. Surprise, surprise. I'm sure you're all just like, what? She bought tomato seeds? <laughs> also went and got my hair done. Oh, yeah. I'm working on a little project. So we were actually going to get started with the greenhouse today getting it fixed but it's like super windy super windy and cold and you know how i am about the cold but when we take all the plastic off oh that's way too close sorry about that <laughs> when we take the plastic off i still have all my stuff in it and i'm probably gonna have to move it anyways but i'd have to take all the stuff from the greenhouse out and it's just like super windy so that'd just be a pain so i think we're just gonna go get all the supplies that we need and then we'll do it tomorrow or I don't know. I don't know when we'll do it. The plan has changed. I'd really like to be outside doing some work, but that's okay. So instead of doing that, I think me and my husband, once he gets back from the gym, is going, we are going to do a tasting of some of the canned items that I canned last year that we have yet to, to taste. Probably some things that we, um, have already tasted that'll be a taste test and i think i'm just it's just gonna be a video of, of like did i enjoy canning it was the process easy recipe was easy uh would i can it again does my family like it one of those things so we're gonna record that and then while i'm waiting for him i'm gonna do a project that i've been trying to get done all right so it's this right here so my husband put together just a couple of pieces of wood and then this would be the the thing's hat and then this is its face so i'm doing one side's going to be saint patrick's day and then the other side's going to be easter so i'm going to paint this this thing has been sitting in my laundry room for a year now and i have yet to do it and with saint patrick's day coming up i want to do it i'm going to do these projects that i just keep procrastinating on so let's do it so these kinds of projects are always like a start and stop kind of project. So you have to paint a layer, then come back and paint a second coat. You have to do like the base coat and then you have to draw on the face. And so it's like, um, it ta usually takes me a couple of days because I like to make sure everything's really dry. So when you put the time that you spent on it all together, it doesn't take very long, but you have to let each coat dry. And have one of you lovely subscribers um, asked to stay updated on Bob Ross here and would you look at that I don't know if you can see very well they're starting to sprout look at all the little sprouts oh I'm so excited so I've been keeping this cover on it we'll check back on him in a couple more days Bob you're you're getting some hair cool awesome all right and i put this bag on it to create like a little mini greenhouse look what i just finished guys my crocheted bag holder with the little puff balls i'm gonna stuff it full of bags some of the balls don't want to be puffy for some reason so i'm hoping once i get it stuffed full of bags that they'll poof back out but finally <laughs> Didn't take me long once I actually sat down and did it. A little trick when you're doing a project like this and you don't want to have to keep rinsing your paint off your brush, but you also don't want your brush to dry up with paint is stick it in a Ziploc baggie and rubber band it and it'll keep it from drying out. 
So I like to keep all my eggshells and then pulverize them in my Nutribullet so they turn to like a fine powder. And then I use this in my tomato holes and my pepper holes whenever I plant my tomatoes and peppers. And we eat a ton of eggs. I'm talking a ton. This is probably three weeks worth. We have eight laying chickens and that is not enough. Not enough at all. Okay guys, so I'm out in the garage now. There's a few things that I need to do out here. I need to haul in the rest of this pallet of wood pellets down to the basement. I need to, I need to find my, or dig out, I know where it's at, my Valentine's Day tub, because I'm gonna decorate for Valentine's Day today, and it is back there, that's the tub. So I have got to try to finagle it out of there, as well as I am going to take one of these into the chicken coop and run, um, cover up the poop in the run or in, in the coop and then put the rest inside the run and then up there I have some Valentine's Day wooden cutouts I don't know if I should give that a try and get those down but I am going to so got the tub out without having to move all this wood yay and my daughter came out and held the ladder for me while I got down all of my Valentine's Day wood cutouts these ones right here I want to redo them because I got these at a yard sale and I would rather them just be plain because this already says like happy Valentine's Day I think one of them does and the stenciling isn't all that fantastic on it I think I just want to pa paint them plain red and pink hearts so I'll do that today tub is there I'm going to carry it in and then I'm going to get to these pellets so my process with the pellets is I carry them into the kitchen drop them off there once they're all in the kitchen, I then carry them down to the basement and stack them up down there. So I didn't work out today because I knew I was going to be doing this. And this is quite the workout, carrying these into the kitchen and then down to the basement. So when I'm working back in their coop, I always close it up so that they can't get in there because the minute I open up the back doors, they all want to see what I'm doing. So I shut it off and then I give them something to do, give them some scratch. So I practice the deep litter method, which is where you just keep covering up the poops and letting it kind of create some heat as it um, decomposes the wood chips to try to keep the coop warm in the winter. And I'm just putting some, uh, some clean in their uh, nesting boxes. So I just put a nice thick layer over top of everything. And that's what I've been doing for months now. I will probably clean it once it starts to warm up and start all over again. What's left of the bag, I'm just going to dump into their run here. So, and they like to scratch through that as well. No! Bella! Chill! No! <laughs> then to do some of the more detailed work on my wooden piece here I don't know what you call it on my art project I used the paint markers that I got my husband for Christmas so I am no artist and I know my shamrock doesn't quite look like a shamrock there <laughs> but I do fix it 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 looks halfway decent things crossed off the list next thing is to haul this wood pallet into the back because I need this space to bring in all the stuff from my greenhouse is coming into the garage when we redo it that all that stuff doesn't get you know rain and, and, and wind 
might blow it everywhere. So I'm going to try to take some of that out of there. And then I'm taking these that I took down from up there. And I'm taking them out to uh, the yard because I'll leave those for my husband to put up. He's a lot better at it than I am. And he makes them nice and sturdy in the ground. All right, let's get to it. So the seed swap went live today on the Facebook group Tomato Obsession. And I've already got nine people signed up, which is exciting. So I posted last week about the seed swap, just giving like a little teaser and asking for some feedback. And I had someone comment and or message me and tell me that they didn't want to participate in the seed swap because they have already participated in a couple. But he had extra seeds left over from one of the seed swaps or something to that nature, and he wanted to donate them. So I've already got something in my basket. This is gonna be my seed swap basket here where I try to keep everything in here until it's time to swap everybody's seeds. That's exciting. I think it's gonna be good. So I am now in the greenhouse and I'm looking around, trying to figure out what all exactly I'm gonna to take to the garage. I know my green stalk is going in there and then my seeds starting vermiculite, I think I can leave the peat moss in here, but the jugs and stuff, I don't want them to get blown away. So those will go in. This is where I make my seed starting mix. But my vermiculite, and then this is a fresh box of perlite, or this is vermiculite. That's perlite. Those are going in. I think I'll leave my jugs here. I mean, they're pretty. I'm going to water them once I've got everything out of here that I want out of here. We'll wait and see if my husband needs them out of the way. Cause So the way we're planning on redoing the greenhouse is to have a sloped roof. So he's going to put posts in, and I don't know if he's going to actually have to move the table. Which, the table actually did get busted up a little bit. I don't know if it's just the wire. I think it is. I'm going to take all this stuff. All this is going to get put in a box and carried inside. I think everything except the jugs for now. And then I'm also going to take in the um, fire pit cushions here. A few of them got broken and busted up, so I'm going to have to redo those anyway. So we have yet to go get the wood for the greenhouse. So when we go to get the wood for the greenhouse, I'll probably get new wood for my cushions because they're easy to redo. Let's get going. I hope I can make quick work of this. I have other stuff I want to do. It's just these big ones, just three of them. So three out of the four got damaged that I need to get wood for tomorrow. So that's pretty awesome, only a few. And these right here are fabric pots that I was a little rough with. Let me see here, I was going to try to, but this one here I think is just ripped. Is it, was it ripped? Oh. It was ripped and I already fixed it. I forgot I had fixed it. So there was the tear right there. Okay, so I'm gonna put these with the rest of the grow bags here. Right here, this is a box full of grow bags. I'm gonna have lots of grow bags. Okay, so there's the greenhouse. Now I am going to water this because it hasn't been watered in weeks. <laughs> Not watered it, I think, since I don't know, it was right after I think the uh, tree fell on it. But I'm gonna water the bed and I'm also gonna water the buckets here because I think they're getting a little dry and you want them to stay moist. Eh, they're still kind of moist. I don't know, do I need to water them? Yeah, I'm gonna water them. So now that that's all finished, got the greenhouse jugs watered and the carrots, I wanted to tackle this pile of leaves that's in front of I don't know if you can see. We have like a storage area. A couple of doors right there that open up to stuff like wood and just scrap things that we want to not have out in the way to be looking at. And it's hidden away in there, but I can't. It's this stuff right here, these metal pieces. They weren't good enough to reuse for the roof when we rebuilt the coop. But they're in decent shape that they could be used for like raised garden beds or something. I don't know what yet, but I don't want to get rid of them. So I need to get this out of the way 
so I can get them put away. And then we've got like extra fencing that needs to be tucked away. What I wanna do is mulch it all up and put it down in the new leaf mold bed that my husband just built for me. So that's the next thing I'm gonna tackle, as well as on my list of to-do is to tear down the tomato plants in two of the, the raised beds down here. So I'm hoping I can get to that too. So when I mulch up leaves like I do for my leaf mold bins, I always throw a couple of big piles into the chickens because there's lots of buggies and things like that for them to dig through. They absolutely love it. Okay guys, my nose was dried because I've been outside for the past couple hours, my cheeks. <laughs> it's a little cold. I am filthy. I'm covered in leaf particles. Leaf particles? And I didn't get done everything I wanted to get done today. So decorating didn't happen. And I also did not get to clean up two rows of dead tomatoes. So I'll add that stuff to my list of to-dos tomorrow because I don't know if you can see, I'm filthy. I need a shower, I uh, smell. <laughs> and I think that's where I'm gonna end this vlog. But I hope I inspired you guys to get out there and do some stuff today uh, when you're watching this whether it be a craft or some yard work or whatever. I enjoy making these kinds of videos. I hope you enjoy watching them. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you if you have. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, I hope you enjoy your day. Bye guys.